Good morning. I'd like to share some information with you that I feel is highly relative. Um, it is most relative to showing you the roots of a certain portion of this so-called truth movement and its promotion of the name Yeshua over the name Jesus. Really this truth movement I say so called because in actuality it is a movement of deception seeking to cover up, distort, destroy, and control valuable information. This truth movement is really a organized deception that is being run through a greater secret mystery organization and that we see a lot of these channels are nothing more than paid agents. Some of these channels are working for the DOD, Department of Defense, as I have so recently learned and had confirmation from. It's something that I've suspected for a long time, but recently through somebody that I know that works in the DOD or somebody that I know that knows the person that works in the DOD, um, there's been some recent confirmation. We might talk about that later, but at this point, you should know that the, this promotion of the name Yeshua over Jesus is nothing but deception. We're going to see a little window of that here in connection to the Ku Klux Klan, and this would be their letterhead that we're looking at. I've spoken about this before in previous videos, one entitled Name Game Defeated, and I offer what I feel is a very interesting perspective into uh, the common sense understanding of what proper name really is for Jesus Christ. As you know, I simply call him Jesus Christ um, for a very, very simple reason. It is the name that is most recognized around the entirety of the globe that identifies the Son of God that lived and then was crucified upon the cross and rose again on the third day. Jesus Christ is the name that is readily identifiable by the learned and the unlearned, by the rich and by the poor. Whatever culture you're from, whatever background you have, when you say the name Jesus, people understand and know. Well, if people understand and know who you're talking about, would you not think that the infinite wisdom of the creator would also understand and know what you're talking about absolutely right jesus christ said himself he said for out of the treasure of the heart does the mouth speaketh in other words he knows your heart not your letter not your cultural orientation from where you have been taught what you've been told what club you belong to what country you are fighting for. Jesus Christ has no concern for any of these things. These are all of the kingdoms of men. They are associated with carnal truths, and these carnal truths will give way to the superior truth of the Spirit. Maybe not this day in your heart, mind, and soul, but in the ages to come, it most certainly will. All of those things will fade away. So, let's take a look at where the promotion and the origins of the promotions of this name Yeshua being used over the name Jesus. In other words, they're saying that the name Jesus is no good, that it means you're worshiping a false God, that your prayers aren't being answered, and some would go, go as far to say that you're going to burn in hell because you said um, the name of the Messiah differently than they believe it should be done. <laughs> Really interesting. So let's show where the origins of this is really coming out of. Because it's coming out of the mystery religions. It's coming out of the secret societies. And it is being perpetuated by their many, many orders of deception. One would be the KKK. Let's go ahead and read 
well, one moment here. I don't think that I showed you this. Take a look at the letterhead. Take a look at what you see here. Four diamonds here. Four diamonds there. 44. Honor? Ain't no honor in that. Ain't no honor in divide and conquer. There's no honor in bringing some sort of faked fire from the sky to literally destroy billions of people, both materially and spiritually. That's called deception. More importantly, it's known as evil. Evil's not honorable. This is basically speaking about the letter. This letter from a gentleman claiming to be of the invisible empire of the KKK was sent to the author after he had on his radio program a Jewish guest, a Christian, who was head of the International Board of Jewish Missions, a group that evangelizes Jews for Christ. Obviously, the KKK was a little upset that the author is not anti-Semitic. The logo, the logo on the letterhead is of interest with its blackish circle, triangle, and the Masonic 47th problem of Elucid, of, of Euclid, triune design. The KKK, of course, was founded by Masons following the South's defeat in America's Civil War in 1865. The KKK, of course, was founded by Masons following the South's defeat in America's Civil War, 1865. Now, I would implore any of you who are believing or watching these channels that you are now beginning to realize are Masonic and begin to see what they are creating and what they are promoting. And everything is all about opposites, right? Everything is about creating some sort of equilibrium of these op opposites and we know that the the fullness of the reality of the opposites is good and evil they're trying to create an equilibrium between good and evil in other words they can use good for evil and evil for good that's not honor that's not honor that's not what jesus christ teaches that's not even what the world system the real world system the natural created world system around us teaches not at all but nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at the letter. You can go ahead and read the letter yourself. I am going to focus on this line or these few lines right here towards the bottom. The bride shall not be bartered for your cup of self-glorification. I pray that Yeshua, the Christ, will put an end to your corrupt, Negro-mixing, Jew-idolizing sorcery this is where the letter is from um i mean that really speaks for itself does it not i pray that yeshua the christ now well the norm or the the general consensus consensus of the of the populace most generally anybody can see that the clan is negative because they're racist and they go as far to murder people, uh, burn, destroy, and kill people that oppose or they feel are unworthy, undesirable. It's the very same thing that we see with Israel itself, false Israel. And of course, their plan of genocide for Gentiles, goyim, and cattle. The question really becomes, who is the true goyim and cattle? Of these ancient secret societies that are using the theology of Jewish mysticism to promote their doctrines well a lot of people that are now joining these organizations from various different racial and cultural backgrounds they really have no idea they're being used as pawns as you can see here that masonry is absolutely affiliated with the Klan not only affiliated they've created it do your own research into that and you'll see that you should now easily be able to see as I've already told you about these double agents and what their real game plan is you should easily be able to see who is promoting the name Yeshua right there give me a moment Okay. 
obviously these people in this portion of this lodge of the clan are heavily concerned with proper usage of assemblage and names. We can see that they are highly interested in using this name Yeshua to refer to the Christ. In other words, they are separating this title distinction away from Jesus. They reject Jesus, just as like, just as ancient Israel rejects Jesus, just as false Israel of today rejects Jesus, just as the mystery religions and societies and all of their various orders still reject Jesus. They look to another Christ, and it would be this fulfillment of Yeshua. Yeshua becomes the fulfillment of the Messiah that the Jews believed they had not yet received and that Jesus Christ himself was the imposter. Of course, he never sat on the throne of David. He never removed the Roman yoke in the way that they believed that he was to do it in a militant manner. But Jesus Christ actually did do all of this in a spiritual manner. But they're not spiritual. They're carnal. They couldn't see it. They're blind. So... Let me go ahead and read just this other uh, portion here. These Ku Klux Klansmen wear an X on the left breast of their white robes. The KKK was founded by Confederate generals Albert Pike and Nathan B. Nathan B. Forrest. Pike was also the sovereign grand commander of the Scottish Rite Freemasonry, and his book, Morals and Dogma, is still lauded as a classic by the global Masonic leadership. Although Pike was a Confederate general and was labeled a criminal by President Abraham Lincoln, today a statue of Pike stands in front of the U.S. Justice Department's headquarters in Washington, D.C. Justice? You know justice in that. His body is entombed in the Scottish Rites, the House of the Temple Headquarters, in Washington, D.C. Indoctrination. So, you know, I'm really just trying to offer up another avenue of understanding so that you can better form your own decisions. It's up to you to make your choices. As you know that they control YouTube. They have uh, done so much to my channel that the only thing that I'm able to do now is just simply upload videos. I can't comment. I can't go to the comments. I can't interact. I can't do anything because, of course, they cheat. They've got to cheat to win. You know, this is a war of words, and obviously they can't overthrow my words because these words are not mine. The inspiration of the words that I am giving are coming from the spirit of truth. And they can't ever throw that. So they have to cheat. They have to use deception. From micro to macro, it's the very same thing that we see being used everywhere. So understand that. So the next time that you're on YouTube and somebody is touting the supposed sacred name of Yeshua and that you can't use Jesus, well, just maybe remind them that uh, that's what the Ku Klux Klan believes also. I'll be back.